Local and state leaders met today at the Marquette Township Fire Hall to declare their support for the upcoming Proposal 1 on the May 5th ballot. The proposal would raise Michigan sales tax from 6 to 7 percent to raise money for road and bridge repairs. The Almost Home Animal Shelter in Iron Mountain has gone from almost empty to overflowing in just two days. Why? 54 cats were taken from an abandoned house in Niagara. United States Marine recruits endure the longest boot camp out of any military branch. Yesterday we saw recruit Joshua Seibold's experience and tonight we meet another young man from Alger County who's in the same platoon. TV6's Blair Caldwell spoke with UP recruit about his time at MCRD in San Diego. The Manistique paper mill is expected to close next week. Nearly 150 people who work at that mill will lose their jobs. But the city, along with State Senator Tom Casperson, are working to find a solution. TV6's Escanaba Bureau reporter Jessica Stevenson reports. Well, kids don't usually want to stick around too long after school. But Woodland Elementary in Kingsford is doing just that. TV6's Iron Mountain Kingsford Bureau reporter Britta Lee has the story up close. And tonight is the first day of the annual TV6 Spring Craft Show at the fairgrounds in Escanaba. TV6's Escanaba Bureau reporter Jessica Stevenson is there and joins us now live with more. Jessica?